Hello and welcome back. Right now we're going to be reacting to Croatia's Eurovision entry for 2024. Now, I like this entry. I think it's a pretty good entry. Um, it's not, you know, typically the type of song that I would necessarily gravitate towards. But with that being said, I see tremendous merit. The one thing that I'll say is a lot of people right now are focusing on like the hilarity of the entry and how, you know, crazy the dance break is and all that stuff or whatever. But for me personally, from the national final, the thing that stood out the most is Baby Lasagna's raw talent. The voice sounds like Michael Bolton, but even a little bit more raspy and rocky. And that's the type of stuff I love. I love a soulful vocal. Try saying that 10 times fast. But yeah, it's also worth noting that right now, Croatia is number one in the betting odds. We have never seen Croatia even win Eurovision if you exclude Yugoslavia. And so this is a big, big deal. And I know right now the whole country is rallying together very much for this song. And if you don't already know too, the thing that is absolutely insane about Baby Lasagna's trajectory in this whole Eurovision experience is Croatia has a national final called Dora. Initially, Baby Lasagna was not even in Dora. He was actually kind of like put on hold in case another entry actually ends up dropping out and that ended up happening. So Baby Lasagna went on into the national selection and won. And the crazy thing is, he wasn't even selected to initially be in that national selection. He won that national selection and now he is predicted to win Eurovision for the first time for his country. That is, that is a good underdog trajectory story. So yeah, without further ado, I think we should react to this. It starts off very strong. Got bright colors. You got people doing weird things around the stage and then boom, the steam. The funny thing is, if I were to just see this outfit with no one in it, I would be like, no one could ever look hot in an outfit like that and then you see baby lasagna and you're like well i was wrong i mean it's it's the biggest headbanger we've had at eurovision in a long time and i'll say it's a bigger headbanger than cha-cha-cha the choreo is lackluster but it's kind of funny too because it is so lackluster like it's, it's funny how just it's giving nothing i absolutely love the raspy vocals in his voice <laughs> it fits the song so well it adds to the headbanger quality of this song too and it's just it's perfectly in his range. And the staging, I mean, I can't really remember a time that Croatia's invested this amount of money in the staging. Like we're seeing steam and in the rehearsals, I've seen them also like have fireworks and stuff like that too. I think pyro as well. So they're pulling out all the stops. There you go, the fire. My anxiety attacks, whoa. Oh, it's just, I mean, there you go. You got the fireworks, they've invested money in Croatia. I mean, they know that this probably has a good shot of winning. It's high in the odds. And so they figured, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do everything we can. Now, you know, this to me, I know it's funny. I know it's chaotic. I know it's whatever, but for me, it's just a little bit dead and it's not really adding to this performance in any way. It's funny. The audience is eating every moment up. Wow. And they, I know I keep saying this, but like they really, they, they did not, <laughs> they, they put their whole, GDP into this performance. Whoa, my. I know I'm supposed to do the commentary, but I, I can't help but sing along. It's just so addicting. It's an earworm. It's easy to sing along. Maybe that's not the best thing for juries because it's a little bit of a like, a, it's, it's simplistic. But I mean, wow, there's a lot to dissect here. So first of all, Croatia has invested. They have said, you know what? Our guy, Baby Lasagna is very high up in the odds and we're gonna put our money towards this performance because we actually have a good shot of winning this thing for the first time like ever. As everyone knows, Croatia right now is number one in the betting odds. And I think after watching this performance, I could kind of see why, but at the same time too, I would not put my money on this winning. And that's because of this. Right now, Croatia has a good song, great staging, but it's not, how do I, how do I say this? It's not as crazy and chaotic and as memorable of a staging as Cha Cha Cha, for example, as last year. And I know they're different songs, but they're in a similar vein of being crazy, chaotic, outlandish. And at the same time too, it's not as good quality of a song as like Tattoo was, which ended up winning. And I know they're different again, but I'm just saying it's good in many aspects, but it's not amazing in any aspect. Well, you know what? I will say actually his voice, his voice is a world wonder. I might be proven wrong. We might be going to Zagreb next year for Eurovision, but at the moment, I really don't think this is the winner. I think right now we've seen performances that give me a little bit more of a Eurovision winner feel. You know, Ireland, I just saw that and that to me was 
a little bit more elevated. But by the same token, that one has some things going against it too. You know, for example, like a lot of people might be completely turned off by that because it's Satanist and all of these things and, you know, like anti-religion and, you know, people are saying a lot of negative things about that one this year. Yeah, I don't know, but you know, we also have some heavy hitters coming up. We have Netherlands, we have, uh, you know, Norway might take the cake. We have Switzerland, we have France. So Italy, I mean, there's a lot. And up until like, you know, literally yesterday, honestly, it was neck and neck between many different countries at Eurovision, but now Croatia has, you know, they, they've surpassed by a decent margin. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you think that this could win Eurovision? Do you think this has no chance? Do you think it maybe has a chance, but it's slim like me? Uh, let me know in the comments. And either way, I hope I didn't offend anyone who's Croatian. This is just my personal opinion. Who knows? You know what? Baby Lasagna might prove me wrong. And this is no shade to him too. I think he is an absolutely commendable performer. And the fact that he actually wrote the lyrics of the song, made the music of the song, one of the most talented people we have at Eurovision 2024. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Feel free to give this video a like, feel free to subscribe, turn on the notification bells, do what you gotta do. Once again, I am so grateful that I have reached 30,000K uh, subscribers. That is, there's no words. I'm so grateful and uh, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me to reacting to Eurovision videos and Eurovision in general. And I'll try to do my best to continue to make videos that entertain and um, you know, make you happy. Anyways, take care for now and uh, rim tim tuggity gadim.